For those of you that stay in touch with my videos, my latest video I was just filming was about are you doing CrossFit to its fullest? And I was talking about the nutrition side of things. And are you um, putting the same effort into your nutrition that you are in your exercise? This is a little side note to that about are you doing CrossFit to this or are you even, even doing CrossFit? Uh, and that is for all you cherry picking mofos out there that look at the workout beforehand and decide whether you're going to do it based on what it looks like, that's not CrossFit, okay? That's just, I'll choose an exercise and I'll do that because I like it. Very different. CrossFit is about covering every modality of fitness and in that case, every energy system as well. So sometimes, it might involve going for a run. Yeah, I know, terrifying. Yeah? Loads of people drop out when there's a run or a long endurance event. Okay? And people might justify by saying, oh, I can go for a run or a row at home. I could just pop to the gym and go for a row. I don't want to waste my class doing that here. Well, I'll tell you something. Um, when I see people doing a row this morning that were doing a workout that was rowing and wall balls, okay? it was a long 25-minute workout. I don't see anyone at their home or at their gym down on the high street there, the Globo gym, I don't see anyone coming off the rower with the level of fatigue that the guys or girls in the class did today because you don't have that intensity. So if you think, oh, I can replace the workout by just plodding around on a rower or going for a nice little jog, it's not true, okay, because you don't have that same level of intensity. So that's the first thing. Otherwise, other people pick workouts based on movement. So, oh, I can't do overhead squats. So you know what? I won't come in. I won't even try. That is also cherry picking and that is also not the spirit of CrossFit. You will come in and we will scale the options appropriately for you so that you can improve your weaknesses, okay? Matt Fraser, the fittest man on earth, he talks about training so that he doesn't have a wheelhouse. Now, though you don't know what a wheelhouse is, okay, they're not maybe used to sporting references. A wheelhouse is the things that you like and you're good at doing, okay? He trains so that he doesn't have that wheelhouse. And that's what you need to think about with your training. You need to think, okay, that's stuff I hate, that's stuff I don't like doing, so I'm gonna make sure that when that is on the, on the workout, I'm gonna tell them to do it. And actually one of our members, she told me that she comes in when there's running because she doesn't like running, so then she wants to make that one of her strengths. So that's a great attitude to have, turn your weakness into your strength. For example, I, I, I chose a workout for myself the other day that was box jumps, burpees, and running three things that I am absolutely terrible at and I hate doing, but I chose it and there's loads of reps uh, and it was a long aerobic piece as well, which is another thing that I'm not particularly, um, um, what would be the word, uh, obliged to like. Uh, maybe that's the right phrase. I would not like doing that normally, but I'm trying to do that on a regular basis because I want that to be in my comfort zone, in my wheelhouse. I don't want to have a wheelhouse, yeah? I want to be good at everything. And that's what I'm aspiring to do. It might take me five years to get to that point. So I might be, you know, my mid-40s or I might even be in my early 50s by the time I've got everything. Um, but I want to be in that point where everything is in my wheelhouse. I don't stick and think, oh, I don't like that. So, you know, I'll try and avoid that. And I'll do the stuff that I'm really good at. You know, if I did that, all I would do all day would be deadlifts. Okay, I'd love doing that. But that's going to create and I think that's not healthy, okay, I'm just going to be a power lifter, uh, and that's not really what, what the goal of CrossFit is, so if you want to really embrace CrossFit to its fullest, look at my nutrition video first of all, and then make sure you just turn up and you get on with the work, remember the coaches are here to scale the movements for you, so we'll find whatever the best alternative is, there's something you're actually not physically capable of doing right now, but just turn up, do it, whatever happens, okay? Stop cherry picking. Thanks, ran over.